my current supplement stack and is it good to take a break from supplements? Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here and I wanted to do a little video today on sharing my current supplement stack and I'm actually not taking very many supplements at all compared to what I usually take and you know, I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm, I'm definitely supplementing with, you know, a few different items, mainly just always taking at least one kind of like unique exotic thing to help my overall health and also like my I guess my body weight my body mass like something for like you know my size at least right now that's kind of like my main focus I actually have been really bad on the caffeine I'm not gonna lie it is really bad so like they have these uh what's it called these bangs at the 99 cent store which is actually the dollar 25 store now ripped off but um so I've been buying them because they're so cheap and I purposely never drink bangs because uh you get used to anything you drink or any amount of anything, you know what I mean? And I honestly, I found that 200 milligrams, which is like ghosts and stuff is kind of the way to go. But I've been on the bangs and I've been probably having like at least two full ones a day, which is pretty friggin' strong, you know? And like, yeah, sometimes in the morning, I just had the minimum amount to wake up, but I just like noticed, hey, I'm feeling like a little pep in my step. I've almost finished the entire bang. So that's not very good. So my caffeine tolerance is through the roof. So I've been on kind of on a kick of taking stuff for bodybuilding. Uh, normally I was kind of like, I would take stuff and then I would take breaks and then I would try new stuff and I just wouldn't take it constantly, you know? So I got on the Trichesterone and then I got on the Laxogenin and now I'm on the Youth, but I'm also trying the, or like another blend from um, Vintage Muscle that is more on the pro-hormone side of things, but I'm trying to blend it a little bit with youth because youth actually blew my mind. It is, it really changed everything about my life in a very weird way because I had a very bad problem getting enough sleep. Like ever since I've got the product, I, everything's been great. I just absolutely love it. It does make you really tired and they say that's a side effect. It contains multiple items that are supposed to make you tired. So it makes sense. But, and to be honest, guys, like I'm at the point where I'm like kind of in a minimalistic kind of phase of my life to where it's like, I just want everything to have enough flow. I don't want to have an excess of anything to the point where it's making it hard to move around or I just have too much stuff, you know what I mean? But I haven't really used any of my supplements and um, we're like, which I would consider most of my powdered supplements like ginger or grapeseed extract or turmeric or fenugreek or I have just a bunch of the um, like powdered supplements. I haven't been using those and it is a little bit of a pain in the ass to have to capsule them, but you just get such a better value to the point where like I have to buy supplements in the powder. I just can't. It's like literally throwing away money to me, but I kind of want to buy a juicer so um, I could actually toss in maybe even more than I would take in capsules and just juice it with something that will blend good with it. So I definitely want to get back into those because, you know, I have my top really, really good supplements, something like Colostrum, Ormus, um, Zeolite, um, and maybe a few others. I would almost consider this youth supplement, which is the um, Vintage Muscles, one of three compounds that's like a sprayable substance that you put on your forearms. And um, I, for some reason, was just really against it, but actually, again, it was mind blowing. Um, I have almost no side effects and I'm somebody who's very sensitive to almost all bodybuilding type, you know, side effects or compounds. I just have lots of issues with them. But again, this, um, it's more peptide based. And I don't really understand peptides, but apparently they're building blocks to proteins. So like, they're like almost a full protein, but they're not. And apparently it in increases things with a growth hormone, and IGF-1 and a bunch of that stuff. But I don't really understand it. I just feel great on it. And, and yeah, so that's been kind of like an overall health boost along with the colostrum. I have been taking colostrum. Um, there has been a day or a couple days where I will forget it, but I have been putting it on my face. I have been taking it orally. Um, it's just such a powerhouse. I've been trying to take at least something healthy like that every day just to kind of keep the overall health in case, I don't know, I feel like it's going to have a higher chance of warding off diseases and just keeping my body looking healthier for a long time. But 
You know, I really got to thinking, somebody wrote me a while ago in one of my nootropics videos about just always taking nootropics and always, you know, um, feeling like you need the next thing, the next big, you know, just kind of seeming like, you know, the goal is always just more nootropics. And there's always like this running desire because like you just never can have enough. You always have to find the best one. And, like, like I was searching for something I'm not going to find because I'm, I have something else wrong with me and I'm just taking a bunch of nootropics. And I don't know. Oh, it got to me thinking right now and i'm actually happy that i don't take a lot of nootropics or or i have i feel fine like i don't feel like i just need to take them or you know like i i'm deficient in some way i actually feel just 100 percent fine and thinking about that makes me think of my past living situations and that you know maybe there was something really bothersome you know to the point where i would have to take you know herbs to help me sleep every single night kind of something that to just change up my brain change up how things were all the time instead of just you know taking things more mildly and yeah i am a reviewer so it's like i do get sent a lot of new stuff it is beneficial for me to try new stuff because then i can do a review on it i can compare it and the more that i try the better my knowledge is so it's just better for me overall to try stuff and um some people call me a guinea pig on here and it's funny but it's like most of the stuff is pretty healthy you know like i very few things i've tried that are like ever like dangerous um and it's very interesting to see like what works for you because you know eventually you're going to open that door and you're going to find that supplements where it's like that's just going to be one of your go-tos for life so yeah i've been i actually been lagging on ormus that's something i actually need to order right now i've been ordering so much stuff um but it's just ormus is something that i just never want to run out of no matter what i already made that made that decision and i need to get some more either just some sort of ormus type stuff i do have this stuff called ormus super greens that i did i showed like in like either like a post or a story a while ago and now that i'm talking about it i want to go redo it or re retake it and then do a review on it but i found that that ormus super greens is more of a kind of like a super greens blend than an ormus blend but um yeah anyways guys i really haven't been taking too much nootropics just a few really you know just a bunch of classic real stimulants you know what i mean lots of caffeine um and this youth it, to be honest guys i i i'm kind of in it and i don't really understand it fully but if this youth supplement almost has like completely changed my life for the better and has gotten me out of situations that i didn't even think i could possibly get out of in a in a weird way unique to me and on top of that it has a lot of muscle building effects and i get no side effects so i really like the youth and i have that towel up anyways guys that's kind of like my current supplement nootropic type stack i'm not really taking almost anything but you know what i was thinking is that my tolerance is so high so one of the best things that i could do to get that feeling that i don't know that i would have a, like a really strong brain boost without taking as much caffeine as i could introduce the nootropics and there's this like clin x50 or something from vintage muscle or something like that and i actually really like the blend i was kind of I had a little hesitant to try it because i'm really weird i don't like any artificial colors they give me bad side effects i could probably handle one candy one pill but i just really don't want to mess with them and on the side i said it contained like red 40 or something and i looked at the capsules and the capsules are clear and they're the powder is doesn't isn't red so i think that they planned on putting red pills and then they canceled or they gave me clear or i don't know but there's looks like there's no red in there and it's actually a really unique blend for vintage muscle but um anyways guys probably the biggest takeaway for me and this is on the bodybuilding side i know people in nootropics don't really care for it but if you're um in the nootropics space and you want anything to help you sleep um i would definitely look into this more because maybe it's a unique effect to me but you know there's just almost like a certain amount of stimulation that your body has to where it's like you can't really there's almost something you can take that over the counter or somewhat natural feeling that will knock you out once you've had a certain level of stimulation and i think that um this youth supplement just absolutely blew me away i don't know if it was because i was deep down i was really tired and like it almost is a supplement to where it it you know if your body needs something it just takes it you know it needs sleep it'll take it maybe i did sleep more when i first took it but um i just feel like my sleep has been 100 percent better the whole time i've taken it and it does build up if you were to take it, let's say eight days in a row, and then you don't take it on the ninth day, you'll probably feel about the same, uh, maybe even a little tiny bit drowsy. 
Um, but on the 10th day, you'll kind of be more awakened. And if you go to try to take it on the 10th day, it might take a second or two before it kind of kicks in like normal. So anyways, guys, I'm kind of just, I guess, riding the wave. I love supplements. I'm always going to get back into them. I still have all mine. I'm actually, in fact, going to buy a juicer. And um, I'm almost thinking about doing like vlogs if you want to, if you guys want to see them. But I don't know. So much crazy stuff happens in my day. So much weird, like, you know. Even right now, I'm locked out of my house. It's going to take me I know I'm going to want to go to sleep. If I get a, the full amount of sleep, which I try to get every single time, I'm going to wake up in the middle of the day. And it's like, what kind of vlogs are these going to be? But um, it is pretty crazy. And I'm actually, I ran a room, but I'm just kind of over the BS. And I'm about to go fucking buy a lock for this house, I think. So um, that would be an actually like, I mean... But for vlogs go, that's not like the worst thing because it is a little bit interesting. It is unique and it is true. But um, anyways, random. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so, so much. Hopefully you're having a great day out here because I'm having a great day at home. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.